Hey, what's up guys? If this is your first time tuning in, I'm Zeth. Um, for those of you that don't know, I recently had two back surgeries and that's why I've been off work and I haven't been able to create any content here recently. Um, now that I'm back to work, light duty, I'm going to help another technician, Patrick, perform an 8R IBT Hydro Improvement PIP. Um, Patrick is a recent John Deere Ag Tech graduate and now is working full time for Sloan's. I'm coming in a little late in the project and the transmission is already removed and tore down. So I'm going to show you what I can. Um, I wasn't able to film the entire project, but the point to this video is to show how complex this IBT transmission is and how well this recent graduate performs the repair, even though he has never rebuilt one before. Um, with little guidance, I think he'll do just fine. So what's wrong with this IBT? Well, I did not diagnose the machine, but the technician that looked at it figured out it met the requirements of the IVT Hydro Improvement PIP. So what is a PIP? A PIP stands for Product Improvement Program, which is another fancy word for recall. But this is a fix as fail PIP, which means you only perform the PIP when there's a hydro failure. So according to Deere, there's a potential for the hydro seals to wear out, causing the hydro module failure. Um, the possible Possible customer complaints are poor IBT function, such as diagnostic trouble codes, transmission not coming out of park, and the IBT defaults to park, or the IBT does not successfully calibrate. Um, it's also recommended to inspect the C1 and C2 synchronizer and other components for wear while the hydro is removed. So let's jump into it, shall we? What are we doing, Patrick? Oh, we're working on an IVT here. We're gonna pull the front cover off and check out what the synchronizer look like. Maybe. Mm. I bet an auto tech couldn't do this. Probably not. Didn't have the balls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Easy now. It's off. Yeah. I don't think that gear's gonna come out. I think that M12's holding it in. All right, slide this back. Ta-da! Would you look at that? Just look at it. It's so nice and shiny. Out of the groove, just hanging there. Now, well, you want to get something to pry on that shaft so you can pry that piston out of that hole. And pull that whole synchro there. assembly out. Yeah, get a little pry bar action going there. Is that gonna all fall out? Yeah, with it? that's all one chunk. So you need to catch it on the bottom. Look at this neck technique he's using. I like this. Surgical skills there, Patrick. <laughs> Surgical, yeah. sir. You gotta do what you gotta do. I like it. Pull that big synchro out. Look, mom, no cracks. <laughs> so we inspected the synchro and it's good and we're gonna go back in, right? Mm -hmm. 
you gotta get that gear splined onto the shaft and drive that piston in the hole at the same time and put a snap ring in. So we got the synchronizer installed in the gear. Mm -hmm. All right. Coming together pretty nicely. Okay, where are we at now, Patrick? Well, we got our uh, top input gear put in, new bearings, and ended up uh, put the front cover on, checked our in-play here for the input, and pulled the front cover back off put our sealer and stuff on, put our O-rings on, and put the front cover back on, torqued it down, and then did uh, check our end play behind this piece for the idler shaft, and finally got it within spec, kind of where I want it, and torqued it down, and then put that piece on, and now we're ready to roll it over and start putting the backside back together. So we got the new isolators in for the hydro. Got the new hydro out of the crate. Now what are we doing, Patrick? Putting the gears on it and the face and then we're gonna drop it in the transmission. Bam. Oh, that was real nice. Installing the reverse brake housing.
All right, where are we at now, Patrick? Uh, now we are about to put the rear cover on. We have it all cleaned up, top and bottom, and anaerobic applied to the base. So we will put that on and go from there. Gasket is on. The new ceiling rings on. Getting ready to put the rear manifold on. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Unfortunately, I had to step away and I wasn't able to film the rest of the project, but Patrick got the the manifold on and the bearings in and the in place set on the shafts and um, got the rest of the transmission all tidied up and he got it installed in the tractor and got everything hooked up and he ran it and got the oil hot and calibrated it and so far everything's good there weren't any leaks uh, tractors running great and just drove it down the road um, so far so good so um, if you guys give me a favor give it a like subscribe comment below let me know what, how i'm doing uh, i'd love to hear from you guys um, may your wrench never slip and I'll see you guys next time.